Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Hillmore Orbital Flare. It does 3 16 to 3 quarter inch soft tubing and it's supposed to make the flaring process a lot easier compared to traditional flaring tools, which is definitely a good thing for me because I am no means a flaring expert. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. It has a closed pin design, so opening up the flaring block section is a lot easier. Slide this yoke down. And it has this piece of copper flare here from the factory, so the yoke doesn't get damaged during the shipment. Let me get this guy out of here. Squeeze it down here, open up the flaring block section a lot easier. So let's look at this flare. Not a bad looking flare. On the side here there are detents, so you could slide the yoke down into place and you know it's positioned correctly. And then you'd have your copper inside, of course, and then you would set the set screw, get it snug, and then continue the flaring process just by screwing this guy down. And one of the things that makes this so unique is this has an auto clutch. So you just screw this down, and once it clicks, you know you're done. So that way you're not going to over flare. So let's go ahead and see what this guy could do. Okay, I have a couple of pieces of soft drawn copper tubing here. I have quarter inch and three eighths. And it's very important to deburr these inside and out. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now what you want to do is to make sure that you slide your flare nut over your copper tubing that you're going to be flaring before you make the flare. Very important step, because if you don't, you're going to defeat the whole purpose while you're doing this. So this is this demonstration. I'll slide the nut on here. I'm going to take it off, because this is such a small piece of copper. It's going to be in my way. I can't hold it on. Okay, now what we want to do is, since we're going to be flaring a quarter inch piece of copper tubing, and we're going to be working towards the rear here. Slide to make sure everything's loose here, the, the yoke and the set screw. Slide the yoke down all the way down. And we're going to grab our copper tubing. Again, make sure you have your flaring nut on before you make any flares. And we're going to squeeze down on the flaring block so we could open it up like a clothespin. Stick the piece of copper in the quarter inch section. And we're going to use this tubing stop. And we're going to hit the bottom of, of that tubing stop. And then that way we know that we have the tubing positioned correctly. Now someone recommended that you bring this tubing to where it's even with this tubing stop for mini splits. So keep that in mind, but for this purpose, I'm just going to bring it to the bottom of this tubing stop. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to slide the yoke down to the quarter inch section. And we, we have to go to the second detent here. And we're going to slide it down. One, two. Okay, now we're tightening the set screw. Get it snug. Okay, the flaring block closed a little bit. Now all you got to do is tighten the yoke. We're going to feel it click, and it's, when you feel the click, you know you're done. So that way you don't over flare. There you go, it's done. Now just loosen it up. Okay, and then loosen the set screw. Back it up. Squeeze down on the flaring block. And get your tubing out. There you go, there's your flare. So this one looks really good. So it's very important that you deburr the copper tubing, otherwise you're going to have a kind of an ugly a flare and it's not going to seal right. So let's go ahead and try 3 8 copper tubing. Okay, we're going to grab our 3 8 copper tubing. Again, before you start making your flares, make sure to put your flare nut on first. But this is just a demonstration, so I'm going to be taking that off. Now we're going to just slide our 3 8 copper tubing that we deburred earlier. Slide it into the 3 8 section here. Uh, like so. so. Open up the clothespin flaring block and we're going to grab our tubing stop and hit the bottom of that tubing stop so that way we know we have a good position on the tubing. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to slide the yoke down to 3 8 section. So it clicks into place. There we go. We should be there and that's on top of the 3 8. Tighten the set screw. Okay, make it snug. That's good. Now we all got to do is tighten down on this yoke. And instructions recommend that you do full turns, and we're just going to stop until it clicks. There we go, clicks. Now I'm going to back it out all the way until it stops. Now we're going to loosen up the set screw on the side, slide the yoke back, open up the firing tool, get our tubing out of there. Like so. There we go, there's our flare, it looks pretty good. It's very important that you deburr the copper, so otherwise you're not going to have a good flare. And if you don't have a good flare, you're going to have a, not a good seal. You don't have a good seal, you're going to have leaks. Okay, now we're going to make another flare. We're going to make this one even with the tubing stop. Before you make your flare, make sure you deburr your copper real good inside and out. Before you start on making your flare, make sure to slide your flare nut on first. Very important. So now let's go ahead and make another 3 8 flare. Slide the guy down, it's already down. Open up the flaring block, squeeze it down like a clothespin. Okay, and I'm in the 3 8 section. Bring this tubing stop 
by the side of it. Kind of get it even with that tubing stop. Okay, now we're there. That's about good. Now what we want to do is slide our yoke in position over that 3 8 There we go. Tighten down our side set screw. Snug. And let's tighten down on the yoke. Full turns until it clicks. Then we know we're done. There we go. Clicked. It stopped. Now let's back this guy all the way out. It stops. There we go. Now let's loosen the side set screw. Okay, slide the yoke back. Open up the firing block. So now let's compare it with our previous one. So this is the one where we made it a little more than the recommended. As you can see there, this flare here is larger, so you may have a better ceiling surface for the mini splits. So there you go. This definitely makes flares a lot easier compared to the traditional flaring tools out there. And that is a big plus for me. <laughs>